Hello everyone, uh, I'm going to be teaching you how to be how to simply set up a GitHub repository for your team project. Uh, you can also use this uh, to help uh, show your members how to um, use GitHub Desktop and how to commit uh, any sort of changes onto there. So first off, uh, you want to start off with creating a GitHub uh, account. You can click here by doing sign up and then uh, just follow the prompts and give all your information. I already have a login, so I'm just going to sign in here. Once you uh, get all the login stuff, uh, you're going to see this. You probably won't have anything here, especially if you made your account just for the first time. Uh, but if you want to sh uh, if you want to share a project with someone, we'll go back into that later. So keep this tab open for now. Mm -hmm. Next up, you want to download GitHub Desktop. What you can just do is just Google Git. Just uh, that's uh, yeah, the desktop. Say enter and then click the first link. It should be desktop.github.com. So uh, this help this helps simplifies the whole Git process. Uh, the video that uh, we have currently on our game development channel uh, might be a bit uh, complicated, especially if you're not uh, especially if you're not going into computer science or if uh, you're new to the computer science major. Uh, it might be a lot, so GitHub Desktop helps simplifies a lot of things uh, and a lot of the process through their through through, uh, through their UI and all of that. So uh, you just want to download it for your respective system. For me, I already have it downloaded here, so we're just going to open this up. So once you open GitHub Desktop, they're going to ask you to sign in, and it may look a bit different for you because this is a project from my end. Uh, for me, uh, for you guys, it might be empty or it may ask for a login, that sort of thing. So we're not going to do anything here yet. We're just going to go straight to the Unity or to Unity or Godot or whatever game engine you're using, whether that's RunPy or other stuff. So let, let's say I wanted to make a new project or if you want to make a new project. So you want to hit new project. So whether if it's, uh, whatever you want to make it. So I just want to make a 3D project. We can call this test uh, And then for the location, this is important. You want to see wherever you keep your location for the project. You just want to remember where that's located. So for me, it's going to be called get, uh, get test GitHub and I'm going to save the folder in the game design in my game design folder. Now, of course, for you, it's probably like C personal or C documents or something different. So I'm going to hit create project and it's going to open up the new project in unity. All right, now we are in the project. So this is where we'll be having all of our assets, uh, where all of the stuff will be. Uh, it's very important uh, that you pay attention to following steps for which one you want to use. So uh, we're going to go back to GitHub desktop, the application, and then we're going to go up to here and then click add add existing repository. You could click choose to find your path. And now this is where, if you remember where the path uh, is important. So you want to go to wherever your folder is, then whatever you named your project, you need to find that folder. So for me, I named a test GitHub. So I have to look for test GitHub. I have to double click on that. And once it shows all of the assets, like the asset folders here, once you're inside a test GitHub, that's how you know. It's going to say folder test GitHub. Click select folder. And then it's going to have sort of this issue where you can't really click add repository. So you, instead, you want to click create a repository. So this is where you could create the repository. It's best if instead of spaces, you use just like the first, uh, you capitalize the letter. And then you could add a small description uh, test for uh, leads. And then you can report initialize with a readme. And then this is the most important part, the git ignore. So git ignore basically tells the uh, tells the git or tells the file share to ignore certain files. And this is really important because there's a lot of excess files that are for the sake of like bug crashes or documentation that you don't really need to upload into your repository. And uh, so this is where you add those. So instead of manually inputting every file that you want to ignore, because to be quite frank, you won't know every file you need to ignore. You could just click on the git ignore and there are presets placed in for you. 
So you could, uh, like if you're developing something for Android, you could play some the Android. Uh, for Godot, I believe they have one. So just scroll down to where you find Godot. Then there's another one if you uh, have Unity or Unreal. So those two are next to each other. For me, I'm going to click Unity. And for license, you can just ignore that. And then you click Create Repository. And then you want to click Initialize Git LFS. I don't know if this appears for everyone. But yeah. So once you have that repository created, you're going to see Current Repository, the name of your project. And what you want to do is publish this repository to GitHub. This allows you to share it online on GitHub servers and allows you to share it with your team. Usually you want to keep this code private, especially for now. Later on, you could change it to public, especially if you want to show it to uh, recruiters or job applications and stuff like that, or build out your portfolio. So you want to click publish repository. Now the project should be shared. So next up, you want to try and share the project with uh, people you with your teammates. So go back to GitHub, and then here you can go to your profile on the top right hand corner. Click on the profile, click on your repositories, and it will show you from the most recent ones. Usually that's how it's sorted. Uh, for me, I'm going to go to test GitHub, and then you're, here you're going to go to settings which should be on the top tab here, then go to collaborators. So it's going to show like repository collaborators. Uh, if you want to invite specific collaborators, this is where you have to add them. So for me, I want to invite some people. So I'm going to click add people. And then here you need to, it may ask you to re log in again. So uh, just log in and do whatever for here. You could type in their username or their email. Preferably, I just get my teammates' emails, and then once uh, once you put in their team name, they need to accept it from their email that they use to create this GitHub account. So that's pretty much uh, how you add people onto there. And now when you're trying to add a project onto your uh, GitHub, you want to go... Actually, yeah, so that's pretty much how you get the setup for going. And uh, now we're going to go into how to actually like, push something into the repository. I believe Enzo's video, uh, the, the longer one that goes more in depth, uh, it goes into more detail on how to do something like this. So let's say I wanted to add a script. Let's just create a quick C sharp script, call it test script. And then we open it up. We just add like a comment or something like, hello world. That's not world, but that's fine. Make sure you always click save or else it's not going to show up on here. So now we go to GitHub desktop. It's going to show that we created the new script or whatever new assets you're going to add. It also shows the, what is added within the script. So it's a great way to check your code, even if you're not directly on the computer that has the code. And then you could go down here to the bottom left, click uh, summary required, just type in whatever the title and then add a little description so you know like what was changed uh something for me and then you click commit to main so it's going to commit to main and you see up here it's going to say push origin so what you want to do is push that to origin so this basically pushes it to the online servers once you have it on the online servers it's uh available and ready for you to go and then whenever you start up a project after GitHub, you want to make sure you pull uh, before you start working on anything. So uh, what you usually do is that you just click on the fetch origin. It will click on it. And then if there's something to pull, like if someone else changed the file uh, without you knowing, it will tell you that someone changed the file. So you have to click pull and then it brings it onto your computer. So your, uh, your computer is up to date with what everyone else is working on. And yeah, I believe those are the basics on how to get a repository set up on GitHub. If you need any more help, you can always message us on the Game Development Club server. And uh, there's plenty of people who are available to help you out with this sort of thing. Uh, wish you best of luck on the game pitches, and we hope to hear from you soon.